Hi, Tom with Heritage Electrical. Um, we're in the process of renovating this commercial premises in Manchester. And as part of that, um, a three-phase supply has been installed. So I just want to quickly show you the steps involved in getting that into place. So here we are down in the cellar. So the first part of the job was to core hole out through uh, the brickwork, through the exterior brickwork of the, of the premises out into the street. Now, Electricity Northwest sent the specifications on what type of ducting to use and, and therefore what size core hole. Um, specifics for how high off the floor and working space above. Uh, and then the next part of their job is to tee off supply in the street and then provide us with um, you know, a three phase cutout. So we had to prepare uh, the duct, like I say, drill it to a certain depth, certain height, etc. Um, we've then installed this three phase isolator. We got our tails and earth cable there ready to connect into the supply. We have relocated the main consumer unit to the premises. So can you see there, there's the existing single phase supply coming into the building and just above us is a very modest single phase board. Um, but this is gonna be around about 15 uh, studios there's going to be electric heating in each room so we've needed to upgrade the supply from 100 amps to you know three phase 300 amps worth of juice um, so we've relocated the board rather than having a big three phase board um, clustering up what will be the common area upstairs you can see we have run an armored cable to the position of the new three phase board so you can see here's the uh, front door. There's the current single phase board. We didn't want to be having the door opening directly onto some three phase equipment. So underneath us, that's where the armor cables run. Turn the torch on. This is a work in progress. This is going to be our plant room. You can see there's our new three phase Crabtree board armor cable coming in. The bottom there. So it's important to note that upgrading a single phase supply to a three phase supply incurs a cost and that cost will depend on how easily accessible a nearby three phase supply is, how accessible your, your building is from outside in, in a public area. So yeah, it's something to bear in mind. It might be the magnitude of a few thousand up to maybe seven, eight thousand pounds, but it would be something that uh, if you, you know, contact your district network operator and get them to come out and survey the building uh, if it's something that you're looking at and they'll be able to provide a tailored quote. There's then a bit of preparation involved from you as the, as the customer. We're carrying out this work on behalf of our customer here. Um, work involved in preparing for that three-phase supply to be put in.